With 2 million videos and 247,000 creators, mukbang eating videos are a Korean phenomenon gone global. 매일매일 하루하루에도 수십 개, 수백 개, 수만 개의 먹방 콘텐츠는 업로드가 되고 있습니다. Ordinary people film themselves slurping, chewing, inhaling often vast amounts of food. And hundreds of millions tune in. Mukbang is other celebrities. 可以用一個看起來甚至有點誇張的詞就是無處不在來描述. Even the politicians talk about it. But while politicians praise mukbang in India, and government agencies support mukbang videos in South Korea, China banned mukbang videos in 2021. Just why have such seemingly innocuous eating videos gotten politicians involved? Is there more to mukbang than meets the eye? Translating loosely to eating show, mukbang videos are more popular than ever in Asia. In Indonesia, India, and Philippines, YouTube searches for mukbang tripled between 2019 and 2022. 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 일단 언어에 대한 장점이 있는 것 같아요. 먹방 크리에이터 분들은 한국말이 아니라 그냥 먹는 이제 사운드만 나오고 먹는 장면만 나와도 되기 때문에 글로벌로 퍼지기 너무 쉽습니다. Mukbang videos originated in South Korea as early as 2008. And it's seen such a rapid increase in popularity that since 2020 the Korean Food Promotion Institute has run a yearly international food video contest for foreign nationals. Sausage. They invite them to show their love for Korean food by creating mukbang eating videos. Mm. <laughs> 어, 먹방 유튜브고 한식을 홍보하는 데 있어서 이런 먹방을 많이 활용하고 있습니다. 안녕하세요. 먹는 TV의 보미다입니다. 배고파서도 먹방을 봤는데 이게 소통을 그래도 해주니까 뭐 음식을 갖다 이렇게 보여준다던가 어 맛있네요 이렇게 물어봐 주는 게 감사합니다. 다른 사람들한테 다 말하는 거지만 저한테도 말할 수 있는 거라고 생각해서 그게 저한테는 이렇게 친구로 다가와줘서 그런 컨텐츠인 것 같아요. 혼자서 자취 생활을 하다 보면 은 늘상 식사 시간에 같이 있던 가족들도 곁에 없고 이제 혼자서 밥을 먹어야 되니까 그 공허함이나 외로움을 채우기 위해서 먹방을 더 많이 보고 그랬던 것 같아요. The growth of mukbang coincided with the rise in the proportion of Koreans living in single households. More people were living and eating alone. To those eating alone, mukbang shows provided virtual dinner companions. A vital connection in a country where the very concept of eating is tied to eating together. Even the Korean word for family means those who eat together. The family the 적군하고는 음식을 나눠 먹질 않아요. 그렇죠? 가장 사랑하는 사람 아니면은 밥을 나눠 먹 밥이라는 건 최종으로 내가 생존하기 위해서 중요한 거기 때문에 나눠 먹질 않는데 먹방을 보는 이유가 이제 나랑 같이 밥 먹어 줄 사람이 필요한데 그래서 외로운 게 엄청 큰거 같아요. 이제 누군가와 같이 있는 기분을 느끼게 되는 거 같아요. 보통 밥 먹을 때는 항상 먹방을 틀어 놓고 먹고 있고요. 
Vicarious wish fulfillment seems to be another reason why mukbang videos became popular in South Korea. The point is not to eat. 제가 먹방을 본 이유는 제가 그때 다이어트를 심하게 해서 많이 먹을 것을 먹지 못하니까 대리 만족 개념으로 본것 같아요. 네, 제가 먹방 처음 본 시기는 고등학교 때 영양학과 입시 때문에 살을 빼야 했어서 어, 너무 배가 고파, 고파가지고 어떻게 할까 하다가 먹방으로 대리 만족을 하자 생각해가지고 그때부터 계속 보게 된것 같아요. 제가 즐길 수 없는 그런 부분을 먹방 대리 만족을 시켜주고. Korean people use the word 대리 만족 all the time about themselves and about their lives. Rather than them eating that food, they will watch videos of other people doing it. They get all of the pleasure, but none of the negative consequences. And that's really important because in South Korea, it's a highly competitive society. And so you cannot really afford to make mistakes. You cannot really afford doing things off the beaten path. You're meant to keep at it. Koreans diet by vicariously eating. Because being beautiful is not just an expectation for celebrities, but everyone. It's not so much that you have to be beautiful, it's you have to try to be beautiful. You have to be seen to be putting in the effort. The better somebody's appearance, the more likely they are perceived to be a good person, a hardworking person. When young children act in terms of etiquette correctly, Parents, older people, will look at the children and say, Oh, yeah, but... Oh, Moshisa. They will say, Oh, you're pretty. I will say, Oh, you're handsome. Instead of them praising them in terms of morality, good boy, we will say, That's pretty. So there's this subconscious association, connection between morality and beauty. And so, in terms of beauty, the mukbang allows people to watch this food being eaten and feel that they are there eating it as well. With such a ready market for mukbang, after eight years of binge-watching the videos, Daehwan Kim decided to become a mukbang content creator. Today, I want to make a dish for the fans of the fans, but I have a lot of food that has come out of the market. These days, Daehwan live streams his mukbang videos every weekday. Once a week, he cooks a meal as part of his show. 네, 방송 전에 재료 준비 30분, 이제 분장 30분 이렇게 해가지고 한 시간 정도 소모해서 방송하고 있습니다. When fans are happy, they donate star balloons. 야, 나로와! One of Daehwan's fans just donated 1,475 star balloons, which is worth 70 US dollars after the platform takes its cut. I was surprised by that. I was surprised by the amount of money I was watching. The appeal of virtual eating, and indeed virtual dining companions, may have kick-started Korean interest in mukbang. But the forms that mukbang videos take very quickly evolved. Regular sized portions in Korean mukbang were soon mostly replaced by feasts. In 2019, Seoul National University researchers studied 6,000 mukbang videos. 83% of them showed single eaters consuming more than three meals worth of food. 방 안에서 아마추어 크리에이터가 음식을 가지고 굉장히 많은 어텐션 이런 것을 얻어내기 위해서 할수 있는 것이 무엇이 있을까? 많지 않거든요. 굉장히 단순화되는 거죠. 그러다 보니까 이제 폭식으로 가는 거기에서 어, 그걸 해보니까 또 굉장히 많은 돈을 벌게 되고 그러니까 더욱더 그 방향으로 가게 되는 것 같아요. 유튜브는 무조건 경쟁이잖아요. 그 조회수, 구독자 수, 무조건 우리가 이 주목 이코노미, 어텐션 이코노미라고 하는 주목을 무조건 많이 받는 사람이 
더 유명해지고 돈도 더 많이 벌고 하는 거니까 어, 다 그렇게 뭐 적당하게 그냥 맛있게 먹는 거 이거 가지고는 이제 그 경쟁에서 더 나은 자기가 더 많은 돈을 벌수 없고 더 나, 더 유명해지기가 쉽지 않게 된 거죠. 경쟁이 심해지면서. As mukbang videos became more popular, the mukbang creators also became more influential in South Korea. For instance, mukbang creators sparked interest in Chinese mala tang or spicy hot pot in 2019. In just one year, some 60 new mala restaurants sprang up in Seoul. In 2020, convenience stores in Korea started stocking Polish U-shaped sausages. Fueled by viral exposure from mukbang creators. 그 상황에서 이제 TV보다는 이제 디지털 콘텐츠를 많이 접하는 MG 세대들이 많이 이제 거, 어, 먹방 콘텐츠를 보면서 구매를 많이 하였고 국내에서는 굉장히 영향력이 강합니다. This market influence means that popular mukbang creators can earn money not just from YouTube ad sales but also lucrative tie-ups with F&B brands. 한국 기준에서 조금 성공했다. 성공했다는 기준으로 팔로우 수를 정한다면 100만 구독자 일것 같습니다. 그러면은 제일 그렇게 한 100만 구독자 넘어가는 유튜버 같은 분들은 어느 정도를 번다고 예상할 수 있을까요? 100만 구독자 하더라도 이제 본인의 개인 컨텐츠 업로드 수나 컨텐츠의 퀄리티에 따라서 뭐 적게는 정말 월에 100만 원 정도의 수익이 나올 수도 있고 어, 유튜브 플랫폼 에, 유튜브 컨텐츠를 기준으로 해서 본인들의 IP 사업까지 확장을 하게 된다면 본인의 IP를 활용한 커머스와 연계된 매출까지 고려를 한다면 올해 1억 이상의 매출도 달성할 수 있습니다. This spacious kitchen is a far cry from the small sub basement room where mukbang creator Jong Gae Kim lived and recorded her very first mukbang video just a few short years ago. Then, she had to wait until 3 a.m. every night, when it's quiet enough, to record her mukbang videos. Why did she record this was her very first video. Jong Gae made these early videos three to four times a week, while working full time in a call center and waitressing on the side. 편집하는데 여덟 시간 아홉 시간 정도도 걸렸고. 거의 새벽에 자차 출근할 때는 그래서 한두 시간 자고 출근한 적도 많았고 많이 그때는 몸이 힘들어졌었죠. 음, 그렇게 열심히 하신 이유가 뭔가요? 어, 돈도 많이 벌고 싶었고 그리고 유튜브를 정말 하고 싶었었어요. 먹으면서 촬영을 하면 정말 행복하겠구나 라고 해서 생각해서 하게 된것 같아요. And wooing subscribers isn't just about how much you eat, but what you eat. And this is what Jonggi is usually seen eating in her videos. 해산물 또는 뭐 치킨 이런 거 먹을 때좀 좋아하시는 것 같고 매운 것도 좋아하시는 것 같아요. 빨간 음식 매운 거, 불닭볶음면도 좋아하시는 거. <웃음> 어, 처음에는 혼자 먹다가 나중에는 과식 먹방도 하다가 뭐, 나중에는 이제 그 종류가 처음에는 음식의 종류가 다양해졌어요. Media researcher Ye Jin Han has been tracking the dizzying allure of mukbang since 2018. Seeing that vast numbers of Koreans were inhaling these videos, she was concerned about their impact. 미디어를 통해서 시청하는 게 개인의 어떤 그 정서 반응에 굉장히 크게 저는 영향을 미친다고 생각을 하는데 그래서 이런 그 
먹방 콘텐츠, 먹방 ASMR 콘텐츠가 인간에게 어떤 그 정서나 생리적 변화를 유도하는지를 실증적으로 확인할 필요가 있다고 생각을 했고 이제 그런 연구가 어, 먹방 쪽에서 없었기 때문에 이런 걸 확인해 보는 것이 중요하다고 생각을 했어요. In one experiment, Yejin measured the brainwave activity of 30 individuals as they watched videos of different kinds of food being eaten. 그래서 뭐 원래 인간이 그 음식이라고 하는 것이 생존 반응과 굉장히 직결되는 것이기 때문에 제가 봤을 때는 이 고칼로리 음식을 먹을 때 훨씬 더 우리의 그 직핵이 훨씬 더 반응이 많이 되고 그로 인해서 사람들이 훨씬 더 즐거움을 많이 느끼고 또 훨씬 더 집중되고 포커싱이 되기 때문에 And when our inbuilt neurological craving for calories meets the attention economy it has an unexpectedly outsized impact on the lives of mukbang creators and even on a country's economy not just in south korea but across the world Korea is home to a vibrant, social media-driven food culture and the birthplace of viral food phenomenon, mukbang. Making such eating videos has become a dream job for young foodies like Jong Ye Kim. Jong Gae started making mukbang videos late at night after a full day of work at a call center and restaurant. But she wanted to earn more to help support her single mom. So after a few months, she quit her main job at a call center to bet on mukbang. 단순히 먹는 걸로만 돈을 많이 번다라고 이렇게 많이 알려져는 있잖아요. 그리고 또 주위에서 또 하면 잘될것 같다라는 소리를 많이 들어서 아좀 많이 좀 이렇게 자신감이 있었던 것 같아요. 그때 운이 좋게도 잘 되고 있었던 것 같아가지고 그때 유튜브가 너무 너무 하고 싶었었고 계속 잘되 계속 잘 되고 싶었었어요. It was a gamble that paid off. Within a year. Jong Gi was making more from mukbang alone than when she was juggling three jobs. Today, she has some 2.9 million YouTube subscribers, which puts her among the top 50 Korean mukbang YouTubers. But even Jong Gi's runaway success is considered modest compared to the very top Korean mukbang creators. The top five Korean mukbang creators all have more than 10 million subscribers, with the top dog at 17.4 million subscribers and counting. Estimates put their earnings at between 80 and 400,000 US dollars every month. That's 220 times the median salary in South Korea. 그런 분들이 구독자가 그렇게 높을 수 있는 이유는 글로벌 구독자가 많기 때문이고. 근데 저는 이게 언어의 장벽의 문제가 해결됐기 때문이라고 어, 생각을 하고 있기 때문에 유튜브를 통해서 이제 젊은 크리에이터들이 그 먹음으로써 어떤 나름대로 유명해지고 또 돈을 벌수 있다 이런 것의 어떤 가능성들 이런 것들을 어, 좀 보여줬다라. Such new career paths in the so-called attention economy are desperately needed for South Korea's young people. Only two in three of those in their 20s are employed. And even then, more than a quarter of those employed are in temporary or part-time jobs. That is why, in 2017, the Seoul Business Agency launched an entrepreneurship program to nurture what they call one-man media creators. Out of the 800 creators that the agency supports with co-working spaces, recording studios, and equipment, almost half either make mukbang content exclusively or do so as part of their vlogs. 
한국에서의 그런 물어보신 먹방 크리에이터에 대한 뭐 비율이 정확하게 나오지 나오 산출하기 힘들겠지만 꾸준히 성장하고 있다 이 정도로 생각을 하고 있습니다. 첫 번째로는 그 한국이 이제 한류를 통해서 뭐전 세계적인 사람들이 한국에 관심이 많고 한국의 문화와 이런 것들에 관심을 가지다 보니까 자연스럽게 한국 사람들이 먹는 음식에 대한 것도 관심을 가지게 된것 같고요. 네, 먹방만큼은 한국에서 시작했고 어, 가장 한국적인 콘텐츠 중에 하나라고 생각합니다. 이제 올해가 2023년인데 아마 올해는 더 많은 크리에이터 이코노미에 대해서 더 많은 관심을 가질 거라고 생각을 합니다. Mukbang is not only helping Koreans make money, it's also a money maker for people across the globe. Irud, in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu, is a world away from the Asian megacity of Seoul. Known for its turmeric and coconut markets, this small city is where, in 2019, Divya Rajkuma watched her first mukbang video. Starting on the eating challenge boys, up bro, even the allah mandu pating na. But pasangga mandu na allah fluent up ani turun naga. Anuri dosa sapar de, aini bade ikli sapar de, anjuk lo biryani sapar de. In the world se mandu buying ra trending la rende che. Indian mukbang videos only started appearing in 2018, a decade after South Korea. Like South Korean mukbang pioneers, those who made binge-eating videos soon dominated the scene. But in India, other than our neurological desire for calories, there's another reason why the binge-eating type of mukbang videos are so well received. Eating large portions as part of competition has always been very fascinating sport, at least in this part of the country, because I've seen that happening in many villages where they have eating challenges and all, especially during temple festivals. So this idea of food challenges has happened even before Mukbang had caught up in India. Divya married when she was 19 and had two children. She dreamed of becoming an auditor but her husband's income of 240 US dollars as a garment worker was just enough for the young family to make ends meet. He could not pay for Divya's accounting certification course. Divya turned to part-time work. In 2015, one of those jobs was to record a voiceover. ஒரு நாளைக்கு பத்து வயசு எடுத்து கொடுப்பேன் ஒரு நாளைக்கு வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா நூறு ரூபாய் ஏர்னிங்ஸ் கிடைக்கும் ஒரு கட்டத்துல நம்மளோட வாய்ஸ் என்ன பண்றாங்க அதை வச்சு என்ன செய்யறாங்க அப்படின்னு சொல்லி சர்ச் பண்ணி பார்க்கும் போதுதான் தெரிஞ்சது யூடியூப்ல வந்து நானே எதர்ச்சியா கேட்டுச்சு என்னோட வயசே ஒரு டைம் அப்புறம் ஏன் நம்மளே இதை ட்ரை பண்ண கூடாது அப்படின்னு சொல்லி அப்புறம் நாங்களும் சேனல் ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணலாம் For two years, she was able to earn 120 US dollars a month. But in 2018, YouTube shut down her channel for copyright infringements. So Divya changed tack and started a cooking channel. But the new cooking channel struggled to gain traction. It was at this point that Divya saw that very first mukbang eating challenge video. Hi friends, welcome to Eating Challenge. One day, two days, three days, five days, that's how it was. So, if you don't have any questions, why not try to do girls? Little did she know, she would have a hand in eating away a deeply rooted Indian psyche. When mukbang videos took off in India, the binge eating type dominated. But when the video start, both men and women chowed down huge amounts of food. So today, na yung mga anay ko mga nakam. But for the women eaters, that very act was transgressive. Yeah, I mean, I 
women bring themselves to sit in front of a table with huge quantities of food and they start eating it in front of hundreds of thousands of viewers. It is going to bring a huge shift in the Indian psyche that women are not supposed to eat fully, that women are not supposed to eat in front of others, women are not supposed to eat along with their husbands. They are the first to put food in the plate for others, but they are the last to eat, and on many days they don't eat at all. The mukbang videos, I think, breaks that cycle. Hi friends, welcome. When Divya Rajkumar and her husband launched their new mukbang channel, they were in dire financial straits. She can still recall the first three videos they made. So, that's a normal small size portion. It's a 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 small size portion. That day, Divya ate enough for eight people. Divya built this house just two years after that egg biryani eating challenge. After that first success, Divya stuck to the formula and made binge eating videos twice a week. Two years and 300 videos later, today, Divya earns 1,200 US dollars a month from YouTube ad payments alone. That's five times her husband's income as a garment worker. With just 19% of Indian women employed in the workforce, India has one of the lowest female labour force participation rates in the world. It's less than a third of Vietnam's rate and less than half of Japan's. Hello, Gura. With women making up two-fifths of Indian mukbang creators, the Indian mukbang market is a welcome exception. Hey guys, welcome to PSK Vlogs. And with the sheer size of India, experts say the potential for mukbang to grow seems limitless. There are about 28 states in India. People around the states, around the India, want to explore the every nook and corner of the foods in, in India. So, uh, it takes a lot of time as well as a lot of potential to reach the saturation level. Also, it's it never going to die here. The mukbang trend only started recently in India. So, the market's open to all comers. However, in its birthplace, Hello. Creators have to reckon with a saturated market. And the promise of quick and lucrative earnings is no longer so bright. Jiwon Seo is an aspiring mukbang creator. Like Divya Raj Kumar and Jonggae Kim, Jiwon has successful mukbang creators he holds up as heroes.
현지라는 이제 제가 좋아하는 분이 한 달에 한 유튜브로 5천만 원 정도 버신다고 하더라고요. 와, 5천만 원이면 행복하셨는데 저는 그것보다는 그냥 제가 제 생활에서 조금 살면서 좀 편안하게 살수 있는 정도로 한, 한 달에 500, 만 10분의 1. G1 used to have more ambitious plans. The foodie achieved a long-awaited dream when he opened his own cafe at the end of 2019. And then the pandemic hit. 뉴스에 나오자마자 그 바로 다음 날부터 손님이 안 지나다니는 거예요. 진짜 이거 말도 안 되고. What followed was over a year of unemployment and over 100 rejection letters. 별한 끝으로 몰렸으니까 이제 간절했던 거죠. 야 그거 쉬워 하면서 이거 찾아보면 돼라고 해서 그때 이제 시작을 하기 시작. After almost a year working at it, G1 now knows better. 주문, 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 주문 With each video taking him some nine hours to edit. 많이 주시도 되나? 이렇게. 와 엄청 많이 준다. He could only finish one video a week because till he makes enough from mukbang, he has to eke out a living as a waiter in a restaurant. 와 진짜 바닥거린다. 와 하늘 진짜 뿌링클은 무조건 맛있지. G1 has been posting videos consistently for months. Most of his 60 videos get views in their hundreds. His most popular video has only notched 3,600 views. He only has 163 subscribers. He needs 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watched hours to even be considered for YouTube's advertising partnership program. 왜냐면 사실 그잘 나가는 유튜버분들도 이런 초반에 힘든 그런 게 있었을 거란 말이죠. 그러면은 저도 그 사람을 보고 배워서 원동력을 가졌잖아요. 그냥 꾸준히 해보자. 이 생각은 있었어요. 그냥 꾸준히 한번 해보자. 언젠가는 되겠지라는 생각. There are perhaps only 50 Korean YouTube mukbang creators with subscribers of 2 to 18 million. They often dominate YouTube mukbang searches. Since you would need 500,000 views just to earn a thousand US dollars, the average YouTuber with just 50,000 subscribers faces daunting odds to achieve few numbers high enough to make a decent living. 제가 예측하는 건 이제 동영상 수익으로 일단 첫 번째 유튜브 동영상 수익으로 좀 말씀을 드리면 대략적으로 유튜브 구독자 5만 기준이면 대략 음, 유튜브 수익은 한국 기준으로 50만 원 선에서 200만 원 사이가 될 거라고 예상이 되고요. 여기에 뛰어드는 먹방 유튜버들이 힘들다는 거다 알고 있을 거라고 생각을 하고요. 하지만 이제 뭐그 달리 할수 있는 것들 그렇다고 뭐 레귤러한 잡을 얻고 이런 잡이 다른 초이스가 많은 것이 아니고 기회들이 많지 않기 때문에. In India. Divya Rajkumar seized the opportunities that Mukbang gave her and utterly changed her life. But she's worried about the future. A hashtag Indian Mukbang YouTube search today shows at least three and a half thousand Mukbang channels in India. Experts reckon this is likely a conservative estimate. But that's still far more than when Divya Raj Kumar started her Tamil Foodies Mukbang channel in 2019. With over a million YouTube subscribers, Divya still ranks among the top Indian Mukbang creators. Hi friends, welcome. If you want to special biryani. But with 300 eating videos under her belt, it's getting increasingly tough to outdo her previous hits <laughs> and keep raking in those eyeballs. The only way is to keep eating more and more and more. 
கிராமத்தில் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா மேக்ஸிமம் பிரியாணி கூட வந்து ஒன்று ரெண்டு இருக்கும் இப்போ மூணு நாலு அஞ்சு சம்டைம்ஸ் அதிகமாக ஒரு முப்பது வெரைட்டிஸ் நான்வெஜ்லேயே ஒரு முப்பது சிக்கனில் ஒரு பதினஞ்சு எக்கில் மட்டும் ஒரு பதினஞ்சு இருபது டிஷ்ஷஸ் அந்த மாதிரி சமைக்கிறது Divya's recent food challenges include eating 5 kilograms of fried fish, over 300 pieces of a bread called pani puri, and 10 bowls of spicy noodles. Camera one day, sir, for that, that day, dog, 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 no, 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 நிறைய பேர் சொல்லுவாங்க அக்கா வந்து நீங்க சம்பாதிக்கிற காசு எல்லாமே யூடியூப்ல சம்பாதிக்கிறீங்க அதெல்லாம் நீங்க ஃபியூச்சர்ல கொண்டு போய் டாக்டர் கிட்ட தான் கொடுக்க போறீங்க நிறைய கமெண்ட்ஸ்ல அப்படி இப்படி எல்லாருமே சொல்லும் போது வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஓகே நம்ம ஒரு ஹெல்த் செக்அப் பண்ணி பாக்கலாமே அப்படின்னு தோணுச்சு ரிசல்ட் என்ன வரப்போகுது அப்படிங்கறது தெரியல Four years ago, Korean mukbang celebrity Yang Soo Bin also went for a health check. Back then, she looked like this. Weighing in at 130 kilograms. 내가 어렸을 때부터 소아비만이었기 때문에 성인이 되면서 당연히 점점 안 좋아질 수밖에 없겠죠. Eating for mukbang videos three times a week didn't help. 그리고 제가 일주일에 두세 번은 두통에 시달렸었거든요. 병원에 가 보니까 목 뒤에 혈관이 점점 좁아져서 피가 잘안 통한다고 하더라고요. 음, 그래도 저는 그때도 병원에서 죽을 수도 있습니다. 이런데도 저는 먹는 게 너무 좋은 거예요. Subin finally sought out a physical trainer. And with a healthier eating plan, she lost 44 kilograms in 500 days. She's now pivoted to lifestyle vlogging and only films mukbang once a month. Okay. 그런데 한 가지 제가 먹방을 하더라도 조금 피하는 음식들이 있는데 일단 정말 엄청 짜고 달고 이런 건 최대한 안 먹으려고 해요. 정말 몸에 최악이라는 걸 너무 잘 알고 있기 때문에 그런 음식을 피해서 다른 음식으로 먹방을 찍으려고 하고요. 제가 영양학을 했거든요. 너무 극히 많이 먹는 거는 결코 그 친구 오래 못 살아요. 어, 돈은 벌수 있을지 몰라도 제가 생각할 때는 그 친구 나가 스토어합니다. 인 2020, Chinese media highlighted social media clips. that short chinese mukbang binge eaters spitting out food in order to make it seem like they were consuming huge amounts. You think that the fans of the fans and the fans of the fans know that they are not going to be able to do it? I think that the fans of the 我对这个东西的理性思考，这个对于吃播之前，他所收割和消费的那个非理性的群众基础，一定是一个动摇。The effort by Chinese media to shape public perception of mukbang had one focus: the mountains of food potentially wasted by mukbang binge eaters who pretend to eat more than they can. In China, mukbang videos became wildly popular after 2016. By 2020, on the short video app Douyin, a search for "chi bo," literally translated as "eating show," throws up 395,000 videos, and the total number of views, 29 billion. Just as these binge-eating videos became all the rage, China declared a crackdown, part of a wider government effort to curb food waste. It's not just about 
直播或者互联网直播而来的，它还是在整体上想要。规范和引导出一个更健康的供需良俗，只不过吃播在这个里面之前扮演的角色不太好。我们这古神文化，它讲的其实是内敛、积蓄，是对于粮食的一种图腾式的崇拜。嗯，因为这东西滋养了我，嗯，我对它非常尊敬。我不能去糟践它、浪费它。直播它所导出的这种种种的极端现象，和我们刚刚讲述的中国文化这个根子里的这个血脉里的东西其实是矛盾了。Within a month of the crackdown, China's internet watchdog shut down some 13,000 mukbang accounts. Seemingly overnight. One of China's most popular online genres fell silent. That fate could have also been South Korea's mukbang scene. Two years before China's ban, South Korea also raised alarm bells on the impact of mukbang on viewers. As adult obesity rates neared 40%. A government anti-obesity plan cited concerns about the harm caused by gluttony-encouraging media, such as mukbang, saying that there is insufficient monitoring. The prospect of officials monitoring people's mukbang watching habits sparked a public uproar. South Koreans, fiercely protective of their hard-earned freedoms, sent over 40 petitions to their president. It also sparked a political storm. The opposition accused the government of behaving like the autocratic Joseon emperors of Korea's dynastic past. They questioned why the government needed to intervene in matters such as eating. In light of the uproar, the government shelved plans to rein in binge eating mukbang. The irony is. The government's concerns about the links between mukbang and obesity will be proven right by researchers from Jeonggi two years later. In their 2020 study, the researchers surveyed 380 university students. 29% of those who watched mukbang said they ate more instant and delivery foods. 저도 정크푸드를 많이 먹는 유튜브 영상을 보면서 원래 야식을 안 먹던 사람인데 이제 야식을 즐겨 먹게 됐어요. 그런 먹방 영상을 보게 되면은 그걸 꼭 제가 나중에 직접 해보게 되기도 하고 그렇게 직접 먹어보게 되기도 하고. Three years ago, Divya Rajkumar also ended up emulating what she saw in a mukbang video. She now makes mukbang videos herself as a sole means of making a living. In that time, she'd not had a full health check. Devia finally went for a health screening last week. Today, the results are back. Patinga renal test la, unga results la patinga apna sodium electrolytes la me. Adalam kono chinnna vidya sangal varde. Sariya. Irko morely ana binge eating ando or reason agora irikla. Definitely, it will affect. Sariya. அதுவும் அதிகமாக வேலை செஞ்சு ஆகணும் லிவரும் அதிகமாக வேலை செய்யணும் சரிங்களா பேங்க்ரியாஸில் வந்து சில விஷயங்கள் மாறலாம் புரியுதுங்களா அவங்க கண்டிப்பாக இந்த பிஞ்சு ஈட்டிங் கண்டினியூ பண்ணியே தான் ஆகணும் அப்படின்னா டெஃபினெட்லி சி வில் கோ இன் டு ஹெல்த் இஷ்யூஸ் அதில் எந்த மாற்றமும் இல்லை ஸோ வீடியோஸ் பண்ணி தான் ஆகணும் ஸோ அதில் நம்ம எந்தளவுக்கு கொஞ்சம் கான்சியஸாக பண்ண முடியுமோ அந்தளவுக்கு பார்த்துட்டு பண்ணிவிட்டு இன்கேஸ் ஸ்டெப் பை ஸ்டெப்பாக கொஞ்சம் குறைச்சிக்கிறதுக்கு என்னமோ அது பார்க்கலாம்안녕하십니까 홍동구입니다 오늘은 제가 이사 온 뒤로 얼마 안 돼가지고요 라면 한번 먹을려 하거든요 근데 근처에 역 바로 근처에 있다고 해가지고 오늘 한번 오늘이라면 한번 가보겠습니다 오늘이라면 이렇게 라면이 많아요 와 이거 봐 108가지래요 This week, G1 CEO is celebrating a year since he made his first mukbang video Though he only has 163 subscribers For now, he has to contend with small victories. 
초반에는 없었는데 이제 요즘 최근 최근 뭐 두세 달 들어서는 그래도 맛있게 먹는다 어, 재밌다도 좀씩 있는 것 같아요. 먹방은 가장 큰 저의 어떤 희망 꿈 뭐라고 하지 최종 목표 아니고 탈출구예요 유일한 탈출구예요 저의 이걸 무조건 저는 성공할 때까지 그러니까 될 때까지 할 거예요. In a world that is increasingly connected virtually and disconnected in reality, mukbang eating videos have found their own tribe of fans, hungry for food. Or companionship, but their every man's simplicity also makes them a financial hope to many, whatever the cost may be.